This is a preview of the cross-country course for the Stan Nelson Invitational. And at this meet, freshmen, JV, and seniors all run a 5K race. So here's the race site. We usually put the tent right here, and the starting line is that green line out there in the field. And the first 400 meters, we'll start with that, heads out across the fields and ends up about there. A few things to note in this first 400 meters. One is that there is a baseball backstop at about 150 meters out on the right side of the course, and they kind of set up uh, the edge of the course on the other side along this line. Uh, what that means is that the, the uh, course narrows down over that 150 or so meters. This is a picture from the starting line, and you can kind of see how if we're, if we're looking at a long starting line, it's going to narrow down right there at that backstop. So a couple of things about the start. Uh, obviously, we don't want to be the person who's way out in front. We definitely don't want to be pushed to the back of that pack. We want to stay in the front part of the main pack. If you can, and it kind of depends on where our starting box is, if you can get to the left side as you head out on this section, um, it's, it's much better to, to make that first turn uh, on the outside. So it's going to be really crowded. Sometimes when you're close to a barrier like that backstop, uh, so close to the start, it can really slow things down on the inside of that turn. So if you can get to the left side, make that turn a little bit wide, that is ideal. Second place to kind of keep an eye on as we start the race is there's another right turn out here. There will be a marker on the right side of the course. Um, no real barrier on the left side. So again, it's going to be crowded enough. If you can stay on the outside of the turn there, that is also ideal. Uh, a really big one is right here. So this is uh, less than 400 meters into the race. It's a really sharp, it's just a 90 degree angle turn around a tree. And so uh, we'll take a look when we get to the course, but sometimes that in the past that tree has had, even had a few low branches that we want to watch out for. Um, this is a turn, and I, I tried to mark this on my little line there. You want to swing outside as you make this turn. So if you try to make a 90 degree turn on the inside this early in a race, you're going to end up walking. So what you want to do there if you can is swing out wide and then as soon as you get around that turn then cut back in and make the straight line across the top there. After that we head out into the woods there's a trail and then we come back out along the edge of the trees and then along straight away on along the bottom there to the first thousand. So a couple of notes about this section you're gonna go through these woods three times uh, the first time through it's still gonna be crowded from the beginning of the race so um, it's not a narrow trail. It's probably six to 10 feet wide. Um, there are a lot of roots back there. It's kind of uneven footing. So your first time through, when you're still in that starting pack, uh, I'd say it's best here to sort of relax. Um, don't try to pass. Don't worry about moving around in the race. Just focus on the footing uh, and navigating these turns and that terrain. Um, the other part here, the long straightaway, couple things about that it's it's you're either on or right next to a long gravel road uh, a lot of the people who watch the start will make their way over and watch this section of the race so there's going to be a lot of crowd energy which can be motivating but can also be kind of distracting so make sure you're focused on your race as you come through this section after that we're going to head out into this field along the far side and then a left turn and you go through a little gap in a hedge up and around this hairpin turn through the hedge again to the one mile mark. Uh, this section right here, that's really the only hill on this course. It's a very flat course and that's your really only uphill and then you do the U-turn and you come right back down uh, up to the mile mark. So um, this is, this whole right side is a pretty lonely part of the course. It's really quiet. Um, this is where you're gonna have to find your teammates and find some internal motivation uh, to, to keep going out there. After the mile mark, we head along the field. And there's a couple tight turns through here, but at this point, the race is probably thinned out enough that you're not going to have too much trouble navigating those. And we'll hit the 2K mark right there, kind of close to the tent. Uh, after that, the course rejoins the, the, the original course, and you're going to do another lap around this same terrain. Obviously, uh, a little thinner because there's uh, the, or the crowd will have thinned at this point. Um, so your second time through should be a little more open than your first time through. And we'll hit the 3K point as you head out into this quiet, far field on the right side of the map. Um, from there, we keep following the original course, 
I'm going to go through that hedge. Uh, oh, sorry, here's the two mile mark right here. Then we're going to go through that hedge up the little hill and back down, cross the big field. And right after we pass that backstop again is where we hit the 4K mark. And this is really a, a landmark we want to identify before we head out in this race because at this point you're a thousand meters from the finish. And a thousand meter is a distance that we know well from practice. So now's where you really want to start setting up yourself to end strong. Uh, you know this part of the course because at this point you'll be on your third trip through. Um, and sometimes a course like this where you're making multiple loops of the same terrain, it, it can be a little mind numbing. It's easy to stop focusing on the course because you've been through this section so many times. Um, but, but a strength of this course is you get to go through this section twice before you're coming in on that last time. So as you're running the race, those first two loops, really try to pay attention uh, to the footing, to landmarks, to uh, the turns, that kind of stuff. Because now when you hit this, you're entering that course, that loop again on the 4K, um, now's where you're gonna take advantage of this, of really knowing that course well. So you're gonna head up, through the trees again, back out, and then after the straightaway, you're gonna make a left turn and head into the finish. So um, right here is the three miles. So you got 0.1 miles left after that. And, and two other marks we wanna put up here. So when you cross, so basically when you start that gravel road again, you're about 400 meters from the finish. And right before you make that turn into the finish, you're about 200 meters from the finish. And so, um, Along with the 4K mark, these are two places where you really want to identify and kind of lock in um, to your memory before we start this race, because this is where the 400 meter mark and then the 200 is where you're really starting to ramp up so you can finish strong. So at, after 4K, you're closing gaps, you're finding your teammates, you're putting yourself in great position to finish strong. Uh, the 400 meters out, you're starting to pass, and 200 meters, you're passing all the way in and you're fighting off people who are trying to pass you. So um, what I want to switch to here is a, a view, a video kind of coming into the finish. So we'll take a look at this. So this is a little bit jumpy, but here's where we're going to make this left turn off of the main part of the course toward the finish. And there's, there's two sections. Each one's about 100 meters long. So we're going to run along this hedge. And then you can see up ahead, there's a gentle turn to the left that'll take us into the finish. So, um, you know, one, one thing that's powerful about seeing this from this point of view is you can really use this as a tool to help you visualize the finish of this race. And so here you're going to see, we'll, we'll make this turn to the left away from the hedge and those two black posts, there'll be something more established there in the day of the race. But now we're about a hundred meters away from the finish. And so this is where, uh, you know, it, it all comes down to guts. So you are passing, you have to be faster um, than that person next to you. And just think that they haven't worked harder than you in practice. And so all those accelerations, all those hill charges, everything we've done to make ourselves strong is gonna pay off right here. So um, really think about that, try to, to lock that view into your head of this is the section of the course that whatever you've got, you're gonna push all the way through those that finish line. So don't stop here. Uh, but run through the finish and and uh, race past that finish line. All right, and now we're back to the overview. So again, uh, familiarize yourself with some of the landmarks on this course, some of where those, those important distance markers are, and um, trust your training. And I'm really excited to see how well we do this weekend.